Have you ever wondered how language shapes our understanding of the world around us, particularly our environment? Ecolinguistics is the fascinating study of this phenomenon, exploring how our words and phrases influence our relationships with the ecology around us. So language isn't just a tool for communication, but a lens through which we perceive and interact with our ecosystems. But how does language influence our perception and behavior towards the environment? This is where input comes in. It's the linguistic exposure we receive from media, education and society, shaping our narratives about the environment. Thus, the language we are exposed to can shape our environmental understanding and consequently, our behavior. Yet there's more to language and ecology than just input. Let's delve into affordance. This term refers to the potential actions that our linguistic and cultural frameworks provide or inhibit regarding the environment and sustainability. Affordance, therefore, shows us how language can either enable or limit our actions towards sustainability. Input and affordance, though different, intertwine in environmental discourse. Input, the linguistic exposure, shapes our perception of the environment, while affordance, the potential actions suggested by our surroundings, influences our ecological behaviors. Together, they form a complex interplay, shaping our environmental narratives and actions. Let's consider a real-world example. How does media influence our perception of climate change? Media narratives, a form of linguistic input, are powerful tools in shaping public perceptions. They craft stories that can either highlight the urgency of climate change or downplay its significance. For instance, the framing of climate change as a distant future problem can lead to complacency, while narratives that emphasize immediate impacts can provoke action. So the language used by media can significantly affect public understanding and action on climate change. Now let's explore affordance in action through the lens of urban green spaces. Affordance, in the context of urban planning language, significantly influences how communities engage with their green spaces. The terminology used in planning and describing these areas can either encourage or discourage sustainable behaviors. For instance, words like sustainability, biodiversity, and ecosystem can inspire citizens to interact with their environment more consciously. This shows how the language in urban planning can shape our interaction with and appreciation for green spaces. But how can we use these insights for ecological benefit? Let's critically analyze how we can reimagine input and affordance. The potential for language to drive positive environmental change is immense. Language, therefore, can be a powerful tool for promoting sustainable behaviors. What does the future hold for ecolinguistics? Emerging research themes are honing in on input and affordance, demonstrating the necessity of interdisciplinary collaboration. This cross-pollination of fields is crucial in propelling our understanding and actions towards a more ecologically conscious society. The future of ecolinguistics holds much promise for improving our ecological consciousness and actions. In conclusion, language plays a critical role in shaping our ecological consciousness and behavior. From the media narratives we consume to the urban spaces we inhabit, our linguistic landscape fosters our perceptions and actions. The exploration and application of eco-linguistic principles is pivotal. So next time you talk about the environment, remember the power of your words. They can shape not just your understanding, but also your actions towards our ecology.